graphing calculator. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is enter my y equals section so I can enter my formula. Notice over here on the left, you see these lines. Well, take note of that because here, if we want to represent an inequality, we just click over to the left, right? Keep going until this is blinking and we can scroll through the different options by pressing enter. Right, there are a whole bunch of options here. We're not gonna talk about all of them. We're just gonna focus on the inequalities. Notice how this looks, the top part, right? This region here is shaded. That's for a greater than or equal to inequality. So it says something like y is greater than or equal to something. And then next, if we hit enter again, this is a less than or equal inequality. So we'll use that one here. We'll scroll back, scroll back and enter in our equation. So we're assuming this says y is less than or less than or equal to something. So let's just put in 2x, 2, and then hit our, our x button there, hit enter, and we're done. If we want to adjust the zoom, we go to the zoom button, hit 6 for zoom standard, and there it shades it in for us. Now what you want to be aware of, though, is that the graphing calculator right, is not able to shade excuse me, not able to tell you if the line is dotted right, or solid. It's a dotted line when the inequality is just less than or the reverse greater than. But the line will be solid if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So although this graphing calculator can give you a picture of what's happening and shade the correct region and you can do other great things, it will not tell you if the line is solid or dotted. All right, hope that helped.